The U.S. women's 200-meter field seems to be relatively wide open this year. Since Allison Felix has started focusing more on the 400 meters in about 2015, there has been a bit of a void in terms of one dominant figure in the event. The trend seems to be continuing in 2021. There is a deep field of women who are all contesting for just three spots on the U.S. Olympic team to Tokyo, Japan later this summer. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the women who have a chance to make the Olympic team in the women's 200-meter dash. Let's start off with Shakari Richardson. She has been dominating the 100 meter dash and seems like not only the favorite to make the team there, but also one of, if not the 100 meter gold medal favorite in Tokyo. But in the 200 meters, she has been proving herself as well. She has only run the 200 once this year, but her time of 22.11 seconds at the Tom Jones Memorial Invitational on April 16th is the fastest time by an American woman this year. That backs up her 22.17 from the 2019 NCAA Championships, as well as her personal best of 22 flat, which she ran last year in Florida. Richardson will have the 100 meters out of the way by the time the 200 meters rolls around at trials, so look for her to challenge for a 100-200 double win. Next up, we have Gabby Thomas. Now, Thomas is a newcomer, but arguably pretty familiar with the territory already. She actually made it to the 200 meter finals at the 2016 Olympic trials, finishing sixth place in that race. This year, she has run a personal best of 22.17 seconds at the Texas Relays back in March, which makes her the number two American this year, only behind Richardson. She probably has been one of the most consistent 200 meter runners of the past few years since she left Harvard. Her 2018 season was amazing where she performed well on the Diamond League circuit and this year she has won all but one race. Her most recent win came at the USATF Golden Games running 22.12 seconds with a wind of plus 2.1 so barely wind aided and she beat out a high quality field. She has never raced to carry Richardson though so look for both of them to fight for the win at trials. Next up, there's Jenna Prandini. She is the two-time USA champion from 2015 and 2018. She also made it onto the 2016 Olympic team with that dramatic finish in the final at the trials with Allison Felix. After injury in 2019 and taking 2020 off, she is back and looks to be in very good form. She ran some great indoor races and has already run 22.43 seconds outdoors behind Gabby Thomas at the Texas Relays, making Prandini the number three American this year. She is definitely on a mission to make her second Olympic team and book her ticket to Tokyo this year. With that, let's talk about Allison Felix. Of course, arguably the greatest 200 meter sprinter in history, she is a three time Olympic medalist in the event, of course winning gold in 2012. But as I noted, she just missed out on the team in 2016, getting out leaned by Prandini and finishing fourth in that final. Indoors, Felix ran 22.59 seconds, and more recently, she has run 22.26 seconds with a plus 2.1 meter per second wind just behind Thomas at those USATF Golden Games. So that proves that she is in form and has the speed to compete with these other ladies. Now, it seems she will be running both the 400 and 200 meters at trials. The 400 meters is of course first and that's the event she has been most prominent in over the past few years. So it will be interesting to see how she holds up after the 400 meters and going into the 200. Next, we also have to take a look at Brittany Brown, the silver medalist in the 200 at the 2019 Doha World Championships. Now, despite winning silver, she has definitely been a bit under the radar relative to the other ladies. She has two windy times of 22.39 and 22.89 seconds this year, the latter of which she finished sixth at the USATF Golden Games. She also has been working on her strength, having run a few 400 meter races this year, including setting a personal best. She definitely wants to back up that silver medal from Doha, so making the team will be the first step towards that. Angie Anellis joined Brittany Brown on that 200 meter team in Doha 2019, where she finished fourth place in the final, barely missing out on a bronze medal. Her personal best of 22.16 seconds from 2019 actually beat out Shakari Richardson at the NCAA championships that year. She is still in the NCAA right now running for USC and may be a factor both at NCAA championships as well as the Olympic trials. We also saw Desiree Bryant make it to the 2019 World Championships after winning the 200 meters at USA's that year. Now her personal best of 22.18 seconds dates all the way back to 2015, but after a fifth place finish in that Doha final, she cannot be counted out of making the team. 
Morlake Akinison is also in the mix here. She has been more prominent over the 100 meter dash, but her strong record in the 200 cannot be forgotten. Her 22.53 seconds this year has her sitting at number 5 in the United States and is just 100th of a second off her personal best. So keep an eye out for her to potentially make that double. Now a few other ladies to note who could also be in the mix. Kyra Jefferson, 2017 NCAA champion with a personal best of 22.02 seconds. She has been consistent in the 22 second range since then, but looking to get back down closer to her personal best and challenge for an Olympic spot. Tiana Daniels, 2019 USA champion in the 100 meters. She has a personal best of 22.51 in the 200, so could be doubling back just like some of the other ladies. On the NCAA side of things, Tamara Clark of Alabama needs to seriously be considered. She ran a personal best of 22.50 seconds this year, which is number four in the United States, and also ran a wind-aided 21.89 seconds at the SEC Championships. She may be more of a force on the 100 meters, which I think she has a better shot of making the team there, but considering how she's running right now, don't be surprised if she sneaks onto the 200 meter team as well. Cambria Sturgis of North Carolina a and has a strong personal best of 22.40 seconds and has already run 22 seconds multiple times this year. Also, Abby Steiner of Kentucky, indoor NCAA champion, she might also factor into the race if she is able to replicate some of her indoor performances during this outdoor season. Now, Kennedy Flannel of Texas has a personal best of 22.55 seconds from this year, which is number six amongst Americans, and also a windy 22.52 seconds. She finished second to Steiner at the Indoor NCAA Championships and will likely be challenging for the win at the Outdoor Championships. Now, there are definitely a few women who I didn't mention here, but overall, it's very clear to see that the women's 200 meters is not as clear cut going into these U.S. Olympic trials. So, who do I think will make the team? I'm going to say Shakira Richardson and Gabby Thomas are probably the top two that I'm super confident to make that Olympic team. Richardson's speed is unmatched and Thomas has also been too consistent and knows how to control a race. Behind them, I think it's actually pretty wide open with many of the women I mentioned, but I'm going to say Jenna Prandini will be able to sneak onto the team again. Aside from Allison Felix, Prandini is probably the most experienced woman in the field and has been making some serious strides this year coming back from her injury. I think Felix does have a strong possibility to make the team as well, but I would love to see what she does in the 400 meters first before saying she will come back and complete the double. So. Those are my picks to make the women's 200 meter team, though I very well could be completely wrong once the US Olympic trials comes around in June. But let me hear from you. Go in the comments below and let me know who you think will make the women's 200 meter team at the US Olympic trials this year. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.